church. Good to have you guys here with us tonight. Pastor Don, good to have our new guest here tonight. So, you know, thank you for being here. Worship with us. We welcome you here in the place for Friday night at the Common Church. We just want to take this time for about the next hour. Worship God. It's a perfect time on a Friday evening to take all the cares of the week. Give them to God. Take some time just to rest with the Lord. Soak in His presence. So, I say this to you watch on Facebook like all of us here. The Lord loves us. He loves you. He says to cast all your cares upon you because He cares for you. So it's the perfect time to do that. Father, we declare tonight that we love you. We thank you for your presence in our life. We worship you. We give you glory and honor. We thank you, God. Father, as we just slow down our day right now, and we move into your presence, and we move into worship with you, fellowship with you, God. We offer our hearts to you right now, Lord. Your word says that you inhabit the praises of your people. So as we praise you tonight, God, we thank you for your presence. For the presence of the Lord, there is, there is freedom, there is liberty. We declare that tonight, Father, those who are going to watch, those who are going to be here live, freedom and liberty and the presence of our living God, Jesus Christ. Come on, let's go.
us, Jesus. We know that breakthrough is coming. We know that a breakthrough is coming. We believe in your word. We believe in your truth. With our voices, we can move the mountains through your name, Jesus Christ. When we sing, Lord, you move. When we sing, breakthroughs happen. Prison doors open. Chains are broken. Lives are healed. So we know that breakthrough is coming. You are going to do it. We believe you're going to do it. In Jesus' name.
press in right now, Lord. I choose to press in and to remind myself that this is for you. I choose to press in and hear your voice tonight, Lord. Choose to press in tonight. Help me move out of the way so you can do your thing, Lord. You are good. You know, right now we're moving into a time that we like to call worship with the word. And for those of you who haven't heard of it before, it's just basically we put up a verse um, on the screen and we just sing it. Um, And kind of the purpose for us doing this is just to really let the word sink into your heart and to let it become real to your life. Because when you speak the word of life, over your life, you're given a new life and a new purpose, and it helps you get through the hard days and some of those times when maybe things aren't so difficult, but when you have the words written in your heart, you know that you have something solid and concrete to live off of, and so that's kind of what this time is for. It's a little bit more soft and a time to just soak in the presence. You don't really have to do anything. Um, other than be receptive to what the Lord has for you during this time. And, um, yeah, just I encourage you to even pick up your Bible if you can and go to this scripture um, and get it into your heart, get it into your soul, and just meditate and really um, soak in the presence of the Lord because he's here and he wants to talk to you. So that's what this time is going to be.
that's going on. It seems like everything. We're talking about the election. We're talking about any little thing that goes into the news. I was even watching in the midst of all of that, they were talking about uh, things with the environment, things with animals, things with our economy. And everything is just this doom and gloom. And the thing that I keep seeing spoken in by those authorities, by the people that lead us, by the people that inform us, is death. That I just keep hearing that this year is just full of death and I just can't seem to buy that because that's the thing we have an enemy who's out there right now roaming around free his mission is to steal kill and destroy and it seems like he's kind of doing that a lot this year I know I faced loss in my life I've had family members that have died I've had uh, my own job is lost and it just seems like we're going down this path, but then I just keep remembering that Christ came to give us life and life abundant. He came to be our provider, and that's part of the things of these songs that we're talking about. We're talking about how he promised us that he's not going to stop now. He made this promise for us, that he's never going to let us down. You know, you look into the news, you hear death, but you look into Matthew on the Sermon of the Mount, and Jesus is talking about it, that we talk about where are we going to eat, what are we going to wear, but then you look at the birds and you see that they're taking off. You see the flowers in all the fields and that they don't have to 
work, God clothes them with beauty. How much more is he going to feed us? How much more is he going to clothe us? So we have this culture right now of death that we just need to speak and sing and praise life into it.
Breathe your life on us. Breathe your life on us. Open the floodgates of heaven. Breathe your life on us. Breathe your life on us. Open the floodgates of heaven. Breathe your life on us. Breathe your life on us. Open the floodgates of heaven. Rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven.
So yourself, you're the way, the truth, and the life, and that is what we accept, and that is what we will live by.
You go before I know that you've even gone to win my war. You come back with the head of my enemy. You come back and you call it my victory. Picked up all my pieces, put me back 
together you are the defender of my heart when I thought I lost me you know where I left me you reintroduced me to your love you picked up all my pieces put me back together you are the defender of my heart when i thought i lost me you know where i left me you reintroduced me to your love you picked up all my pieces put me back together
earlier, my husband came home from work and he's like, I've been praying all day and I just kept hearing the words, still small voice. And I feel like that's gonna be kind of a huge phrase for tonight that in the midst of the music and the playing and everything else that might be going on, to really sit and try to hear that still small voice. And sometimes it might feel like you're just talking to yourself, but when you really press in, I'm telling you, sometimes he will just whisper those direct words that you needed to hear. And for me personally, it was you are loved, you are chosen, and you are desirable. Somebody else might need to hear those words tonight. It might not be just me. If it is just me, thank you, Lord. Thank you. But if that is you, you are loved, you are chosen, and you are desirable. He is a good defender. A lot of the times, he comes to you and he picks up the broken pieces. He puts you back together. He is the defender of your heart. We talk about God being the father and that's such a phrase throughout the Bible and for the longest time, I had no clue what that really meant. No clue. I thought that meant you had to have your act together before you approached him. I thought that meant you had to just get the pieces of yourself perfect before you could approach him. I thought that meant that when you made a mistake, he was right there to make sure you knew about it. But that's not who God the Father is. I'm telling you, God the Father, he is soft, he is gentle, he is kind, he is patient, he is loving, he is good, and he has self-control. He is a good Father. I encourage you to push past the ideas of what your earthly father is and to press into what the word says about your father in heaven and how much he cares for you and adores you and chases you because he chooses you. You are desirable in his eyes. He has a purpose and a plan for you. He doesn't see you make mistakes and get on you about them. In fact, he says, come to me and talk to me. Sit on my lap and tell me about your day. I'm going to hug you. I'm going to cherish you. I'm going to remind you how much I love you. Now, don't get it twisted. God the Father is a God of justice. And he does provide justice for the weak and weary. He does. And we need to be in reverence of him. But God the Father is compassionate. And he hears your voice. He hears your voice. You know how many people are in this world? I don't even know. But he hears your voice above them all. He does that. Those moments in your room where you're crying quietly because you're trying not to wake up the family. I've been there. I have been at the place where I'm crying softly to myself because my sister is sleeping right next to me. But I'm telling you, it's in those moments that God the Father sees, looks down, catches those tears in the bottle, and he says, I'm not finished with you yet. I am crying for you. My heart breaks for you. He is not done with you. Somebody needs to hear this tonight. I'm telling you right now, somebody needs to hear this, whether it be supernaturally sending it to somebody not even on the live or somebody who's watching this on the live Facebook tonight. You are wanted. You are chosen. You are desirable. There is a purpose for your life. You have not been forgotten. You have not been forsaken. God the Father wants you. Did you hear that? He wants you. In fact, he actually likes you. He likes you. I'd never understood that for the longest time. Like what? My personality? He enjoys being around you. He wants to hear your thoughts, hear your heart, hear what's on your mind. He actually wants to hear that. Don't shut down. Don't get disappointed. Fight and push through the lies of the enemy who are telling you that you're not good enough, that you're not worth it, that you're not chosen, that you are too far gone you've made too many mistakes in your past. No.
no, 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 no. He chases after you. He finds you. He reintroduces you to yourself. He gives you a new name, a new purpose, a new identity in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you right now, this is not me speaking. This is Holy Spirit. This is Holy Spirit trying to tell somebody right now that you are chosen. You are desirable. And your identity is through the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on to that.
you take what the enemy means for evil and you turn it for good that's why we worship you tonight God you're worthy of all of our worship and praise we thank you for your presence here tonight God you're so good to us Lord come on guys is he good or is he good he's awesome he's so awesome amen well it's been great having everybody with us here tonight live and then also on Facebook live as we go out this week rest of the weekend here just remember that he's good he takes whatever's meant for evil he turns it for our good he's good all the time he never fails he's never early but he's never late he's always right on time so let's trust him with everything we have father we thank you for what you've done here tonight we release our faith right now to you god and we say lord you have your way in our lives move mightily in our lives god take what we have father and your will be done 
in our lives and here on earth as it is in heaven. We release ourselves to you tonight, God. Have your, your way in our life. And Father, we thank you that you are good all the time. And you never fail. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, we're glad you guys joined us tonight. God bless y'all. We'll see you Sunday at 10 o'clock right back here at church. Great job, worship team. Awesome.